If you're tired of using Chrome or Edge and are looking for a new browser, Arc is one of the freshest browsers around that can give you a completely new take on browsing the internet. But it can be a little confusing to use. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're taking a walkthrough of the Arc browser on Windows. Alright, so you've heard of the shiny new browser on the block and you want to try and start using it. The first step is to actually download Arc browser. We've already done a video on how to do that. So go ahead and check it out and I will wait for you to get back. Watched it? We're back. So now that you have Arc browser, it's time to go ahead and launch it. And we'll go over the browser's basics. Now, going over a web browser's basics uh, seems crazy, I know, uh, but that's just because Arc is such a different concept from every anything that you've seen in the past. So uh, as you can see here, uh, I have a sidebar instead of a browser, uh, the regular top window that we usually see, and I have different spaces for dividing different avenues of work. So I have uh, my main space where I do my news writing and uh, my researching and my youtube pitching and stuff um, i have a second space for tech websites and then i have uh, a third space where i just do everything else kind of all three of these spaces have different colors so that i can help identify them and you can toggle between them using alt one two and three or if you have your cursor on the sort of uh, uh, sidebar area you can also use your mouse's external buttons to toggle between the spaces just like this it's a really quick way of uh, sort of toggling between your spaces so that's the basics of the browser done um, you can press ctrl plus s to hide this uh, sidebar since there is nothing actively running on the browser so you can't really show everything so let me just open a page. Let's say we want to open Canada Technology. Sure. So as you can see, as soon as I start loading the website, the sidebar goes away. And all you're left with is this really clean, nice looking browser that you can do whatever you want in. Um, of course, if you switch spaces, it will uh, correspond to whatever browser you have, whatever tab you have open there. And uh, that's pretty much it to uh, the basics of Arc. Uh, you see these three... Uh, these websites over here so these are your uh, pinned sort of uh, these are your pinned websites and they have certain functionality to them so now a lot of this functionality is not available in the windows version as of right now for example uh, if i hover over the gmail icon it should show me my uh, email uh, list of my emails but it doesn't because the functionality isn't there in windows at the moment for that you're going to have to use the mac os version but uh, some functionality is trickling down so for example if i hover over my google meets uh, or google calendar uh, tab it shows me that there are no upcoming events if there were any it would show them there and of course then these uh, sites sort of remain consistent no matter what space you're on so if i zoom out so if i change my spaces as you can see uh, the top sites uh, remain as if they are so these are accessible from any space and then uh, these pinned websites that i have these uh, keep appearing and uh, these keep changing uh, these are folders so these work exactly as you would on a regular browser so these are just your bookmark folders that you can access um, and uh, yeah so and that's all there is to using arc uh, at least on windows if you're on mac os uh, you can do some more advanced stuff using arc max features but they don't really work uh, well in windows at all uh, despite arc launching two mac uh, two arc max features in windows so i'll just show you so let's let me just duplicate this tab uh, so as soon as i open five or six i think yeah as soon as i open six or more tabs here uh, as you can see there is this tidy button that appears uh, it goes away this tidy button What's supposed to happen when I click it is that it's automatically supposed to rename and sort all of these tags in different categories that you can then save as folders, but that doesn't work for some reason at the moment. You can always clear these tabs. Another very important uh, feature about Arc and tab management is that all of these tabs that you see here, these disappear after a set amount of time. So I have set them to disappear after 12 hours. So if I leave my browser in the state that it is, 
it can uh, all of these tabs will be gone in 12 hours and then i can go ahead and i can restore them if i want but uh, for most uh, cases that it just really helps you keep your uh, browser sort of mess free and clean and only the tabs that matter stay um ahead and in your site of course you can have them uh, running uh, in different folders and that will preserve the tabs as well uh, some other features that you should be aware of uh, especially if you're using arc on windows is that it finally has split screen uh, it ha has had split screen for a while actually so you have four different split screen options you can add a left or a right split or a top or a bottom split so let me just go ahead and add a right split and uh, let's say let's open the browser company's youtube because they won't just remove it from your uh, address bar as they call it so yeah uh, that's one of the weird things about arc can't really go truly full screen in the browser as well because there is always this window this sort of border around that you will continue seeing but anyways uh, you can work in uh, split screen modes like this you can add more splits to this once you're here uh, there are your translation options and so on and so forth uh, and then of course different tab groups that happen to form here you can go ahead and create new wow you might not be able to see this yeah so you can go ahead and create new tabs new folders and new spaces from this plus icon right here uh, or you can just click this uh, new tab thingy that brings up this very spotlight like search bar uh, or you can press ctrl t to do the same ctrl s uh, hides or shows the sidebar but if you're on a website that also uses ctrl s um, you'll have to press it twice so if for example i'm on google docs and i'm typing something and i press ctrl s it will save it and then if i press it again it will hide the sidebar and uh, that's pretty much it to using arc browser it's going to be very disorienting for the first time that you open this especially if you used to a browser like uh, let's say edge which was my previous browser before i switched to arc especially if you use something like this that has all these uh, bookmark folders and everything up top and your uh, viewport is complete uh yeah you don't get that in arc so everything is here it's going to be very sort of weird to get adjusted to this there's also no home page which i think is a missed opportunity on the browser company's front uh in any case if you want to try a browser that is very different from chrome or edge or anything else that you've ever used you should give arc a try if you're using arc on windows it's not the chrome replacement you've been waiting for it still needs a lot of work but it can get there and i have hope for it and uh, i think that's about it that's about everything you need to know up to start using arc on windows if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and if you have any thoughts drop a comment below and i'll be there talking to you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video